This is my uh, 2013 JK. It's a sport and it has a uh, brand new, just got it a week or two ago. And it uh, has less than 200 miles. It's not going to be my daily driver and I'm trying to build my own Rubicon. I've got a um, bunch of parts on order. All I've really yeah. gotten are my uh, poison spider fenders, which are fender flares, which I'm spraying right now. This can probably be the first thing I put on There's it. The and then a star. A lot more horsepower, better gas mileage, and uh, actually a little bit smaller in uh, 3.6. Ready to start taking stuff off and replacing it. I got this for about 23 five and uh, ruby was going for around 40 plus i was seeing them for 40 41 and uh, so i figured i got about 17,000 to build my own better than a rubicon basically i'm gonna go with the curry lift 37s stay with dana 44 in the back do rcvs with a uh, really heavy dana 44 from art rock house rwk house in in uh, california and uh, just keep going from there so when i decided to get a new wrangler i uh i learned a lot from my last one did a lot of things wrong on that and kind of really know more what to do i definitely didn't want to get a rubicon this time because i Figure for the extra money that I would have spent on it, I could just build a great Jeep, a killer Jeep. So, but this is the one I wanted. It's Commando Green. It's got the Pentastar engine. It has uh, the six speed, which uh, I don't know. When I bought my last one, I was turned into an old man and I decided I wanted an auto, but you know what? Off road, I just really, it'd be nice to have the stick. So, I. Really the only reason I could have thought of to buy a Rubicon other than over a Sport or a Sahara if you want the fancy stuff on the inside was uh, the transfer case. But I think I'll probably end up just picking up a used Rubicon one or it'd be nice to have that lower gearing off-road. You know, I'm going to re-gear it. It's going to have 37s and I'll probably put 513s in it. I'd rather go a little more toward the torquey and power side than the you know, uh, fuel economy side. So it's not gonna be my daily driver.